Hi everyone, I'm sure you all know what a cell is, and I'm sure you all know what a school is, so I'm guessing you're thinking what would happen if you took a school and a cell and mishmashed them together. Well, we're going to do just that. Now we're going into the cell slash school and looking at some of its parts. First, see those doors right there? Well, they're a lot like a cell's membrane since they let things in and out of the cell. Like how doors let students and teachers in and out of the school. Now see that main office? It controls anything and everything in the school. Just like a nucleus controls the cell. The main office also holds all the school's genuine effects. Like a nucleus holds the cell's DNA. That huge hallway outside the main office sending out people to go to tell others of the school news Kind of like the endoplasmic particular of the school since it also is an awesome signaling system. After going through the endoplasmic reticulum, the messages and packages will go through the Golgi body to all other parts of the cell, just like the main hallways in the school. As you travel through the school, you'll find a few electrical rooms that provide this school with light, plumbing, and power. Just like a mitochondria provides this cell with energy by gathering protein. Soon, you'll find your way to another energy producer, a chloroplast, which takes different materials such as sunlight and protein to make energy, kind of like a kitchen takes different foods and makes, lun makes a lunch meal. After you go through the kitchen, you'll head out into the cafetorium, which takes food and stores it into the student's belly, like a vacuole does for a cell. Since it stores waste and nutrients and other materials until needed. Now that you're done with your meal, you might need to go and get rid of that waste in the bathroom. Since it works just like a lysosome because lysosomes get rid of waste too. Wow, we made it this far. So let's meet the people who are responsible for keeping most of the organelles working. The ribosomes, or in the school's case, teachers and staff who provide the students with knowledge like a ribosome does with protein. Almost time to
time to exit the cell, but first we have to go through those gelatin-like organelles called cytoplasm that flows material throughout the cell just like how hallways move the students around the school. And time to finally exit through the cell wall, which protects the cell from being destroyed, like the brick walls of a school. I hope you enjoyed our little journey through the cell slash school, and thanks for watching. Bye!